Hello, my name is Erin Weimert, and I am here with you for a, another video for our Less Than 30 series. We're going to be doing a no frills vinyasa yoga class aimed towards just simply stretching out the legs. We're going to stretch out through the thighs, the hamstrings, IT bands, and also the inner groins. So we're going to get started right off in a tabletop position. If your legs are tight, you might want to have a block or two nearby. As you come into your tabletop, spread the fingers wide, find a big breath in, cow pose. And as you exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, sweep the heart forward, lengthen through the crown of the head. And exhale, tuck and round. So keep this going just a few more times. No rush. It's a short class, but you can still take your time. And if you find that there's any additional movements you want to add on, some side body stretching, some circular movement in the hips, you can. you can stretch out your wrists in preparation for plank. Maybe a little toes pose. Just finding whatever feels good, noticing what feels a little sleepy, what needs a little attention. Let's come back into a neutral spine and extend your left leg out towards the left so that your heels in line with the hip. Walk your hands forward about a palm print and either thread your right forearm down or you might come all the way to the shoulder and the ear and stretch the left arm forward like it's in down dog. If you have the room, you can reach your right peace fingers for your left big toe and then just let the hips release. See if you can lift the inner arch of your left foot. And notice if your left knee is hyperextending. See if you can just unlock the knee. You can even walk your left hand back behind you. Turn your chest to the sky. Take a big breath. Exhale. Release your left palm to the eye line. Inhale. Right palm to tabletop. And circle your left toes all the way over towards the right. Root through your big toe mound and either peek over your right shoulder. You can walk your hands wide towards the right. You can drop your right forearm down and relax left ear in line with the bicep. Let's stay committed to left big toe mound. Breathe into the left side body. And take another breath in. Exhale, untwist to tabletop. Let's find one cow pose, inhale, and exhale to cat tuck and round. Come back into a long spine, and now extend your right foot out, heel in line with the hip. Walk your palms forward about a palm print, and either thread your left forearm onto the ground, or come all the way through, weight comes onto left ear and left shoulder. Stretch the right palm forward as if it were in down dog. And if you did on the first side, you can reach for your right big toe. Option to walk your right hand back behind you and just take your gaze up and find a few breaths breathing into the left ribs. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, slide your right palm to the eye line. Inhale, left palm to tabletop. And as you exhale, circle your right toes all the way over to the left and root through your right big toe mound. So again, you can just gaze over the left shoulder. You can walk your palms wide towards the left or you can drop your left forearm down and relax the right ear in line with the bicep. Continue to fire up your right thigh and breathe into the right ribs. And take another breath in. Exhale, untwist to tabletop. Inhale to cow pose, tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your knees, downward facing dog. You might lengthen your stance a little bit. You can pedal out the feet, just a slow pedal, releasing through the backs of the heels and the calves. As you do, feel the palms press down and forward. Just allow the back of your neck to become long. 
Start to settle into stillness. Focus the eyes, deep breath in. And exhale out. Take a stroll to the top of your space. Bring your feet to hip width or wider and just weave your fingertips in between the elbow creases. Feel free to sway a bit side to side or even bob around. Just letting the spine stretch, getting a little bit of a reference point for the backs of the thighs. Let's go ahead, release. Inhale to a halfway lift. Feel the crown of the head and the collarbones reach forward. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, arms to the sky, reach. Exhale, hands to heart, draw the low belly in. Release the arms, stretch wide, inhale. Exhale, fold down to the ground, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend the chest halfway. Exhale, your right toe, step back and drop the right knee down. And just take a moment to bring your palms on top of the left thigh and start to pulse in and out of your lunge. It's starting to create a little bit of an opening for the front of your right hip. And when you're ready, reach your arms to the sky. Big breath in, maybe you arch the upper back. Exhale, hands to the earth or blocks. Half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Feel the outer right hip wrap forward. And just get long over the leg. Take a big breath in and an exhale out. Inhale to your lunge, lift the back knee up and step to plank, left foot meets the right. Inhale, shift forward, you can always drop your knees. Exhale down to the earth, untuck your toes. Cobra, inhale, low, medium or high. Then as you exhale, lengthen the sternum forward to lower. Let's tuck the toes, lift the knees, big breath in, strong legs. Exhale, press through plank to downward facing dog. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, settle in. Right leg inhales up. Bend your knee and open it to the sky. Feel your left heel drop down. Inhale, your right knee lifts higher. Let's go knee to nose, exhale, tuck and round. Three-legged dog, inhale, reach. Exhale, big step through and drop the left knee down. Place your palms on top of the right thigh and just a couple breaths to sink down and forward, just pulsing into it gently. Little opening through left hip flexors, maybe even into the quadricep. Keep your front heel heavy. Inhale your arms to the sky, lift out of the waistline. And exhale, hands to the ground or blocks, half splits. Draw the hips back and just breathe into the back of your right thigh. Flex the toes back. Stretch your heel away, last breath in and out. Inhale to your lunge, lift the back knee up and step top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach the collarbones, crown of the head forward and exhale, fold into yourself. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the arms, stretch up, big breath. Exhale, fold to the ground. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, left toes back, left knee down. Crescent moon, inhale, reach forward up, maybe back. Exhale, hands to the ground, half splits, fold over the thigh. Inhale to your lunge, lift the back knee up and step to plank, right foot meets the left. Inhale, shift forward, chin off the chest. Exhale, half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend, maybe knees and thighs lift, upward facing. Exhale, pull the navel in, flip over the toes, downward facing. Full breath in, full breath out. Left leg inhales up. Exhale, bend your knee and open it to the sky. Let your right heel drop. Inhale your left knee higher. Knee to nose, exhale. 
back to three-legged inhale. Exhale, big step between the thumbs, right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Let the hips drop down and forward. Exhale, half splits, draw the pelvis back. Inhale, forward to your lunge. Lift the back knee up. Exhale, step very lightly, top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, long spine from tail to crown. Exhale, fold, maybe grab your calves and go a little deeper. Inhale, arms to the sky, flat back brings you up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Release the arms, stretch all the way up. Exhale, fold, take all this length with you. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step your left toes back and drop your left heel down, warrior two. Bring the arms long. The farther you reach your arms, feel the collarbones expand. And as you do that, also plug your arm bones into their sockets so there's a sense that they're reaching out and hugging in at the same time. As you inhale, extend your right leg. Turn your left toes up slightly. Reach forward, work your right hip crease back and bring your arms to 12 and six. You can have your hand on your shin, on a block, on the earth. Just feel that your right arm is an active base. Press through both feet. Let's go reverse warrior. Deep bend in the front knee. Reach with your top arm, full big breath. Exhale, hands to the ground. Lift your back heel up and walk your right foot to the right. Drop your left knee down. Feel free to stay in the palms or come down to your forearms. Feel that your right heel is at least under the knee, maybe even slightly in front of it. Option to circle right arm up and around. And then maybe grab back foot, working left heel to the hip. Now, sometimes I like to grab outer edge of the foot if I want to focus more on the back bend. Or if I want to deepen my quad stretch, I shift my grip to the inner edge of the foot and I feel like I can pull it in tighter. Let's take a full breath in. Carefully release your foot. Exhale. Come up to the palms, lift your back knee up, and step to plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, and an exhale out. Bring your feet together, lift your heels up. Bend your knees deeply, take a peek where you're going, jump or walk, top of your space. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your right toes back, right heel down, warrior two. Feel the weight equal in both feet. Back right knee is unlocked. Lunge into your front knee. Find that 90 degree bend. Lift your inner right arch up. Inhale, left leg long. Turn your right toes up slightly. Reach forward, pop your left hip crease back and bring your arms to 12 and six. So you can look up, but you can also look down, especially if your neck is tight or it's sensitive. Stamp down through both feet. Feel length through both legs, both arms, your tail, and your crown. Reverse warrior. Take a deep bend in your front knee. Keep weight in your back foot as you reach the left arm up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Pop the back heel up. Walk your left foot to the left. And drop your right knee down. So again, this heel's under the knee or slightly in front of it. Feel free to come down to your forearms. Option to stay here, or maybe circle left arm up and back 
And find your quad stretch. Again, you can always shift your grip to the inner arch of the foot. You might find that you can pull the heel in a little tighter. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale, release your back foot. Come up to the palms, lift your right knee up, and step right foot forward into Malasana Frog Pose. And I like to bounce the hips down, get the thigh bones into the sockets. Maybe you work on trying to spin the heels back a bit more. See if you can lean the weight back into the heels as you lengthen the front of the chest, top of the head. There's three breaths here. And take another breath in. Exhale, spin your heels back and fold. Just pop your hips side to side. And heel toe your feet to hip width. Let's inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, your left leg lifts, standing splits. Work your right hip crease back. You might even grab the right calf or ankle and just pull the chest closer to the thigh. And find one more breath cycle. Fingertips to the earth or blocks. Jiva squat, left knee taps the right calf. Drop your hips, lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, standing splits, fold. Let's do it again, Jiva squat, inhale. And exhale, fold. One more like that, inhale. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back. Warrior one stance. Drop the heel down. Go wider than heel to heel and rise up. As you bend into the front knee, work your right thigh bone back. Feel outer left hip wrap forward. And take a breath in. Let's go warrior two, exhale. Inhale, your right leg lengthens. Exhale, reach forward, trikonasana. As you inhale, take your gaze down to the ground. Deep bend in your knee, come into half moon. Option to use your block. Soften the standing right knee. Work the right hip crease back. And then option to bend your top knee and maybe grab a hold of outer edge for chapasana. Meet me back in half moon. Take a big breath. Soften your standing knee. Take the lightest step back. Reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Pop your back heel up and pause. Walk your right foot to the right again. Drop the left knee down. Now, if it's available for you, you might just stay here. See if you can extend your right leg out to about two o'clock. And then maybe you come down to your forearms. Feel that external rotation of your right thigh, that internal rotation of left thigh. Flex through the right foot. And just, again, allow for some more room in the front of your left hip. It's also a nice opening for hip flexor. Now, if you're down on your forearms, you can slide your right leg back, sphinx to cobra, up dog, down dog, or you can move through a vinyasa of your choice. And we'll meet with the hips back. Take a big breath in, and exhale, just sigh it out. Feet touch, heels lift, bend the knees, jump or walk, top of the mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale, right leg lifts, standing splits. Again, if you did on the first side, grab a hold of ankle or calf. As you pull your chest to the thigh, feel the shoulder blades drawing up to the hips. Use your right glute to lift the right leg up. One more breath in and out. 
Let's go jiva squat. Drop your hips, lift the heart, breath in. Exhale, dive down. We'll do it again. Inhale, breath. Bend the standing knee. Exhale and dive down. Once more, inhale and exhale. Step your right foot back. Go wide with your stance. Right heel down, warrior one. Again, really assert yourself into that front knee. Work your thigh bone back. And as your right hip wraps forward, try to lift your right arch up. Big breath in. Let's go warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot. Triangle pose. Inhale, your gaze is down. Let's go half moon. Take your time. Right leg lifts. And standing knee soft. Feet it on the first side. Bend your top right knee and maybe find outer edge of the foot. Work left hip crease back as you kick into the right palm. Breathe for three. Carefully release, half moon, inhale. Exhale, bend your standing knee, take the lightest step back, you're in control, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the ground, back heel up, left foot to the left, and drop the right knee down. So again, you can stay here, any variation, or extend your left leg out to about 10 o'clock. Maybe come down to your forearms. Feel your left thigh bone right at the top, pull into the pelvis. The same work to stabilize the pelvis and most of these shapes, these asymmetrical shapes. Outer right hip wraps forward, it's like we did in warrior one, it's like we did in warrior two. Triangle. If you're down on your forms, slide your left leg back. Cobra, up dog, down dog, however you want to get there. Find length through the back of the neck, full inhale, and exhale. Step your right foot forward to a lunge. Hop your left foot forward about a third of the way, Parsvottanasana. So again, go wider than heel to heel. Back heels down, back toes turn up. Oh, I'm gonna use a block here. We're setting up for a revolve triangle. It's a big IT opener. And I want you to pay attention to any intuitive urge to adjust your stance. You'll see what I mean. So if you have your block down inside of your right foot, place your palm on, you can go at any level. Work your right thumb into your right hip crease. Now as you lengthen the chest up, push your right hip crease back. At this point, I start to feel like I wanna lengthen my stance a little bit, maybe even widen it, so I can equally commit to both feet. Now as you turn your chest towards the right, Notice if you want to adjust the feet, let the left side of your pelvis swivel down. And you might even let your left heel actually lift up. Right hip crease back, left hip swivels down, so your pelvis is turning with the spine, maybe right arm high. Again, if you feel stuck with that back foot, lift the heel up. Let's take a big breath in, exhale to unwind, and step forward. Let's come into a rag doll, sway side to side. And step your right toes back to a lunge. And bring your right foot forward, Parsvottanasana. So it's our more traditional pyramid pose. Again, make sure your feet aren't on a tightrope. Find hip width. Mm -hmm. 
Or if you're using a block, bring it inside of your left foot. Place your left thumb and your left hip crease, lift the chest up. I feel at this point that I could go a little longer in my stance. Now, as you lengthen, work left hip crease back. Keep your left big toe mound down. Again, you can slide your hand to your sacrum. Feel your pelvis swivel to the right. And I chose to move my block forward. Again, back heel can lift. Maybe you stretch your left arm to the sky. Roll your left shoulder open. Find three breaths here. Let's take another inhale and exhale, release. Step forward and just shake it out a little bit. Bob the hips a little side to side. And go ahead, step into a tabletop and just swing your shins around. We'll roll onto our back. And bring your knees wide, rock a little side to side. Maybe a little happy babies. You can grab outer edges of the feet or you can just wrap your arms behind the knees. And then slowly release. Either find a figure four, right ankle, left thigh. Or you can place your left foot down if you want some more sensation. Bring your right foot into the crook of your left elbow. And really reach through the inner arch of your right foot so the ankle is not rolling, the ankle is straight. Let's take a big breath here. Exhale, let's come into half happy babies. Half happy babies, there we go. Go ahead and extend your left leg long, left hand on the left hip. And as you pull the right knee down, press up ever so slightly. Now, if it's available for you, see if you can extend your right leg long. And then bring your leg through center, or you can keep the knee bent for sure. And start to cross your leg over to the left. Now, as you do, work your right thumb back into your right hip crease. Try to keep your right hip on the ground just for a few breaths. If you can grab outer edge of the foot, great. Maybe you're just grabbing onto the shin. Should be feeling your IT band. Let's take a breath here. As you exhale, bend the knee and just come into your twist. Let's take an inhale. And exhale, come on to your back. Place your feet flat and just recenter off your pelvis. Option one, figure four, left ankle, right thigh. Just interlace the fingers on your right hamstrings or right foot flat on the ground. Left foot into the crook of your right elbow. You can just notice if your foot is rolling at all. Feel the inner and the outer arch active. And take a breath in. Exhale, carefully release. Half happy babies. Grab the outer edge of your left foot. Extend the right leg down, hand on the hip. And as you pull down, push up at the same time and just feel the left thigh ground into its socket. If it's available to you, extend the left leg out. Feel your hip crease wrap down. And then start to bring your leg across the body with the help of the right hand. Left thumb to hip crease. Try to keep your hip on the ground for the first few breaths here. Hello, IT band. And on your next exhale, bend the knee and let yourself roll into your twist. And 
take an inhale here. As you exhale, untwist, place your feet flat, recenter off your pelvis, just draw your knees into your body, rock a little side to side, maybe find some circles around your sacrum. And just give yourself a big hug of acknowledgement for showing up. Thank you, body. And extend your legs out, arms out. And just lift the chest, shimmy the shoulder blades together. Maybe wag the toes in and out until the legs can fall open with ease. And then just take a big breath in. And as you exhale, side out. And just let the body get really, really heavy. And please stay here for as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.